It's Monday morning and I had over 40 things sell over the weekend. So, got a lot of packing to do. Let's get to work. I am starting with these pennants because a bunch of these sold. Okay, first one going out the door is a Los Angeles Dodgers. Here we go. This sold for $11.99 plus shipping. This is going out to a viewer named Mark. Mark, thanks for the support. And I'm assuming you're a Dodgers fan. I hope they can get over the hump for the World Series this year. I'm pulling for them. Like, <laughs> seems like they make it every year, but they just can't win it. So I'd like to see them win it this year. Before I start packing these pennants, I had a question I wanted to answer. Um, this is from 1958 Dark Star. He says, I'm curious. How the heck would you package and send each pennant without harming it? Maybe include the info in a video. Okay, so pennants are tricky because you don't want them to get folded and creased. Um, you want them to ship, you know, like they are in full length. Um, sometimes what I do with signs, like, you know, flat metal signs or things, is I'll take two big pieces of cardboard and just that are flat and put them between those and kind of tape the edges and ship them like that. I don't do that with the pennants because they're felt and they're so soft that even if that cardboard bends some in transit, it's going to bend the pennant real bad. So this is what I do. I use two of these long mailing boxes. Uh, these are the 1092. My post office has these available, but some of them don't. So you can get them for free on USPS.com. Um, these are uh, 14, uh, 13 inches by 14 inches by 3 inches thick. So what I do is I just fold the end of one, fold the end of another, and make one box. Go ahead and throw some stickers in there while I'm at it. I tape all the seams and everything to make sure that these two are going to stay together really well. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but it gets the job done. I also use this method for board games. Um, the post office has like a flat rate board game box. I think it's like close to twenty dollars to ship the thing. So when I do this, it's usually you know between like eight to fifteen dollars to ship it, depending on where it's going. Obviously. Okay, the next order has multiple pennants going with it. First one is the Houston Astros. Here it is. Man, that that team is looking awfully good right now. I watched that game Garrett Cole just pitched the other night with fifteen strikeouts. Holy cow, that guy's dominant. And the other is. The Cowboys. The Astros pennant sold for $14.99, and the Cowboys pennant also sold for $14.99. Both of these are going on to a viewer named James, who bought a number of other things too. So James, thank you so much for the business. I really appreciate it. All right, the other things going out in that order. There is Friends Season 10 right here. That's sold for $6.99 free shipping. Tales from the Crypt first season. That's sold for $9.99 free shipping. This travel bag sold for $7.49. And these vintage Halloween decorations. These sold for $15 plus shipping. Okay, next pennant going out the door is Boston Red Sox. Here we go. This one's sold for $14.99 plus shipping. That pennant's going to a viewer named Jonathan, and he says, I'm a new picker myself. Love your channel, Coachella Valley Picker. Jonathan, thanks for the business. Okay, next one is Kansas City Chiefs. There it is. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Let's go to viewer named Curtis. Curtis, thanks for the support, man. Hope you like the pennant. Okay, next is Denver Broncos. I think it's down here near the bottom somewhere. Where is it at? There it is. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. This is from a viewer named David, and he says, Hey, John, love the videos. You inspired my wife and I to start selling on eBay. Thank you for making awesome videos. That is great. I love hearing that. A couple months down the road, once you've been selling for a little while, shoot me a message. Let me know how it's going. Good luck to you guys. Okay, next is three pennants all going to the same buyer. There's a Packers and there's two Brewers. Here's the Brewers, or one Brewers anyways. Here's the Packers. And there's the other Brewers. That's a really cool logo. These three sold for $44.97 plus shipping. Next is a Kansas City Royals pennant. There it is. That's sold for $9.99 plus shipping. This is going to a viewer that goes by Secret Squirrel Oddities. Thank you for the support. Really appreciate it. All right, next is the New York Jets. Right here. 
This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And it's going out to a viewer named Jordan. Jordan, thanks for the business. Hope you like the pennant. Okay, Minnesota Vikings is the next one. This one sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And it's also going out to a viewer. A lot of viewer sales this morning. Matthew bought this. Matthew, really appreciate the business. And you guys get a pretty good coach in Mike Zimmer. I think the Bengals are jealous they didn't hang on to him. Okay, last pennant going out the door is a 1984 NBA All-Star game. Right here it is. That's going to a viewer named Andy, who also bought a number of other things that I'll go ahead and pull. Andy, thanks for the business. Really appreciate it. Okay, Andy also bought a cross pin refill. I got this at a garage sale for like a buck uh, quite a while ago. And these sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Andy also bought some VHS tapes. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's five of them all together. These sold for $14.99. And he bought another VHS tape, Bonanza 2-pack. That sold for $8.49. Okay, last thing Andy bought is in storage. It's in G4. It is a die-cast car, uh, Oreo and Ritz. Here it is. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, a few more things in storage sold that we'll go ahead and pull while we're here. First is a yearbook. This is a 1940 yearbook for Steele High School in Dayton, Ohio. This sold for $15 plus shipping. Sold a tailor-made wedge right here. This is an R Blades sand wedge. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Sold this Ping Rapture driver. Um, I got this for five bucks maybe two or three months ago. It sold for $34.99 plus shipping. And I sold this Cobra Dick de la Cruz putter. Um, this was in that recent big golf buy, so was that wedge too. So I might have a buck or so into each club. Uh, this one sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing is a history classics, Mysteries of the Bible. This sold for $8.49, and this is also going to James with the other items we pulled earlier. Okay, the next thing I'm pulling is the frame for that tricycle that I decided to part out. This sold for $69.99 and the buyer is local. So I'm getting ready to go meet him for this. The same buyer also bought the fork that goes with the bicycle. Here it is, that sold for $15. All right, next thing shipping out is one of the Hot Wheels that I just recently bought. This is a Volkswagen Baja California Custom. Paid a dollar for it. It sold for $12.99 plus shipping. I sold a Samsung VHS, or sorry, VCR DVD player. I believe it is this one right here. Yeah, here it is. I got this at a garage over the weekend. I paid $7.50 and it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. I sold a referee costume. I got this at a garage sale. I guess it's been two or three months. I paid a dollar for it. I knew that when Halloween came around, a lot of people like to be, you know, dress up as referees. So I had a feeling it would sell around Halloween. It sold for $14.99 free shipping. So a little handheld game. This is part of a bulk buy I just made. So I think I've got less than a dollar in it. It sold for $8.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing I'm pulling is an F4. I sold this joystick i got this at a garage sale a couple weekends ago when i was going out with my dad uh definitely vintage i paid five bucks for it it sold for 19.99 plus shipping i sold a nascar hat picked this up at a church sale a couple weekends ago same day that i was with my dad um, i paid 50 cents for it it sold for 19.99 plus shipping sold a couple more dvds um one buyer bought two so he's got Gilligan's Island, complete first season. That sold for $10.49, free shipping. And in the same bin, I sold the Waltons. First season, sold for $9.49, free shipping. These are both going out to a viewer named Jessica. Jessica, really appreciate the support. Hope you like the shows. I sold some vintage decorative plaques. This is definitely one of the weirder things I've ever sold. I got these at a garage show for a quarter. I just thought they had a cool vintage look to them. You know, hot pink. I got roller skates and records and cassette tapes and I just thought it was kind of neat, thought it would sell. Um, took about six months to sell I think and they sold for $14.99 plus shipping. I sold a handheld free sale game. 
This was also in that recent bulk buy, so I've got less than a buck into it. It sold for $12.99, free shipping. They sold a Masters of the Universe toy. This guy right here. This is Merman. Um, I don't have the accessories that go with it, otherwise I would have sold for more, but it did sell for $9.99 plus shipping. You were named Jason bought this. Jason, thanks for the business. Hope you like the toy. Sold an ink cartridge. HP 75 XL, I uh, expired 2015, so I made sure I put that in the listing. I picked this up for a dollar, it sold for $10.99, free shipping. Sold a Wii game, Tron Evolution Battle Grids, it sold for $7.99, free shipping. And it's going out to viewer named Tom. Tom, thanks for the support, I really appreciate it. Sold that model car I just recently bought, 1970 pink dodge charger i paid five bucks for this it sold for 19.99 plus shipping sold a couple big things over the weekend one is this jbl subwoofer i got this for five dollars about a month ago at a garage sale and it sold for 49.99 plus shipping i just picked up this pioneer receiver uh last weekend it was part of like a bundle buy with some speakers and stuff so i might have 15 10 or 15 bucks into this it sold for 69.99 Plus shipping. I just picked up this Dyson table air fan um, maybe like two three weeks ago. I paid 20 bucks for it and it sold for $59.99 plus shipping. I got a good question I wanted to answer. Uh, this is from a YouTube comment from Pete the Hobbit. He asks, hey John I've been doing eBay for about a year now and I am having trouble scaling up. Any suggestions? So I think the biggest obstacle with scaling up and growing your business is finding enough good product to sell. And I think the best way to find more products, good product to sell is to grow your knowledge and information on what to sell. I've been reselling now for a little over 15 years and the variety of what I sell now as opposed to what I sold back then is just so much bigger. Two or three years ago, I wasn't selling clothing, I wasn't selling shoes, and now, you know, they're a decent little part of my business. You know, there's there's niche clothing and shoes that I try to find now at garage sales that I sell, and there's a lot of other things that I sell that I wasn't selling before. My advice would be just be a sponge for all the information that's out there. Watch a lot of different YouTubers that sell a lot of different things, and you'll learn a, you'll learn a lot more. Um, when I go to garage sales now, it's rare that I walk away from a garage sale and I can't find at least one thing to resell and make some money on. Um, and that is a credit to everything I've learned through watching videos and, you know, listening to other resellers. So keep at it. Just keep learning. And every year you'll find yourself selling more and different things that will help you grow your business. If you guys have advice for Pete on growing his business, leave a comment down below. I'm sure he would appreciate it. It's Tuesday morning. It's a beautiful day outside and I sold some stuff on eBay yesterday, which means we got some packing to do. Let's get to work. All right, first thing going out the door is a Florida Gators mini football helmet. I've only got a few of these left. Um, this one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing down here in E6 is a buck bomb. Uh, this thing I took it myself for $8 free shipping. Uh, I picked this up for less than a dollar. I sold some more pennants. I sold a Long Beach Sharks. Uh, this is a defunct hockey team. Uh, this sold for $49.99 plus shipping. And then I sold two to the same buyer. This Pittsburgh Pirates World Champs, I think this is from 79. That sold for $9.99. And this Miami Dolphins, 72 uh, That was their perfect season, I think. And this sold for $19.99. Sold a pair of work gloves right here. Cold weather's coming, so these cold weather work gloves have started selling. I got these for a couple bucks, they sold for $6.99 plus shipping. I sold an iPod that I just picked up last weekend. This is an iPod Nano 5th Gen. Um, I paid five bucks for this, and it sold for $59.99 for shipping. Also got this Fitbit Flex over the weekend. I paid just a few bucks for this, and it sold for $23.99 plus shipping. One more thing we're pulling out of this bin. Uh, also something I got over the weekend. King of Queens complete series on DVD. I paid $2 for this. 
it sold for $31.99 plus shipping. And one last thing, I actually just listed it this morning. It sold pretty much right away. This is an Air Swimmer Flying Shark. I got this for a dollar at a garage sale. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, just one thing getting pulled out of storage today is a PC game. Vampire Masquerade. I paid 50 cents for this. It sold for $8.99 free shipping. Check out what I got in the mail today. This is from a viewer named Brad. Brad, thank you so much. This thing is killer. Can't wait to put this up on my wall. Brad sent a postcard with it too, and he's got an eBay store called the Lost Creek Trading Company. I just looked through it a little bit, and it is a very professional store. Um, if you guys are new to reselling and you want some tips, tricks, or you kind of want to see what a really good store looks like, I'll put a link in the description below. Check out his store. Everything just put together really well. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>